In today's video, we will be discussing fatty liver and its causes. Our learning objectives to define fatty change and know the different organs it affects, to understand the pathogenesis of fatty liver, to list the causes of fatty liver, to do the gross and microscopic appearance of fatty liver. So, this is a very good image comparing the normal liver with the fatty liver. What we observe is that when there is a fatty change in the liver, it appears greasy and the capsule appears tense. So, what is fatty change? It is also called as steatosis. It is abnormal accumulation of triglycerides within parenchymal cells, affecting most commonly liver, but also seen in the heart, muscle and kidney, causes Alcohol being very important, but non-alcoholic steatohepatitis due to obesity, diabetes and metabolic syndrome is becoming very common in the developing countries as well as the developed countries. Protein energy malnutrition, anoxia, carbon tetrachloride poisoning, certain drugs like estrogen and steroids. So we should first understand normal fat metabolism. So normally lipids in diet are derived from triglycerides and chylomicrons. Free fatty acids enter the hepatocyte. A small quantity of free fatty acid is synthesized from acetate in liver cell. Most of free fatty acid is esterified into triglycerides by action of alpha glycerophosphate. A small part is converted into cholesterol esters, phospholipids and ketone bodies. Intracellular Triglycerides are converted into lipoprotein by lipid acceptor proteins. So, fatty change revolves around triglycerides. So, as mentioned, free fatty acids obtained from diet or from the adipose tissue upon entering the liver, they get converted by alpha glycerophosphate into triglycerides and within the cell intracellular triglycerides with the help of apoproteins are secreted into the form of lipoproteins. Fatty acids can get oxidized to ketone bodies and they can also be synthesized de novo in the liver with acetate. So, what happens in alcoholism is these steps are affected and anoxia affects oxidation of ketone bodies while protein energy malnutrition carbon tetrachloride cause a decrease in apoproteins thus increasing the triglyceride concentration and as mentioned earlier increase in triglyceride concentration leads to fatty change. So there is essentially increased entry of free fatty acids into the liver, increased synthesis of fatty acids by the liver, decreased conversion of fatty acids into ketone bodies resulting in increased esterification of fatty acids into triglycerides, increased alpha glycerophosphate causing increased esterification of fatty acids into triglycerides, Decreased synthesis of lipid acceptor protein resulting in decreased formation of lipoprotein from triglycerides. Block in excretion of lipoprotein from the liver into the plasma. So on gross, the fatty liver is enlarged with a tense glycerin capsule and rounded margins. On microscopy, there are numerous lipid vacuoles in the hepatocyte cytoplasm. And the vacuoles are small, they are called as microvesicles. And they become large, they are called as macrovesicles, pushing the nucleus to the periphery and they may rupture and coalesce to form fatty cysts. So this is the gross appearance. You have rounded edges of the liver and the capsule becomes tense. And as we can make out, the liver appears greasy and sort of buttery appearance is there. What are the stains used to demonstrate fat? Sudan's dye is like Sudan 3, Sudan 4 and black, oil red O, osmic acid. <coughs> this is the microscopic feature of fatty liver what we find here is the small vesicles called as microvesicles within hepatocytes these are the larger 
vesicles, macro vesicles, and two or three vesicles fused together to form a fatty cyst. To summarize, fatty change is an example of subcellular accumulation. Abnormal accumulation of triglycerides within the parenchymal cells occur, commonly seen in the liver but also seen in heart, muscle and kidney, causes alcohol, protein, energy malnutrition, diabetes, obesity and anoxia, carbon tetrachloride poisoning, certain drugs like estrogen, steroids, on gross, fatty liver is enlarged, capsule is tense and greasy, microscopy, microvesicular fatty change, macrovesicles with fatty cysts, stains, to remember, Sudan 3, 4 and black, oil red O and auspic acid. These are my references. Please like, subscribe and share this channel.